With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us solve this question. The question says that the isomer of C6H14 which will give maximum number of monochloroderivative is option A 2 3 dimethyl butane, option B 2 methyl pentane, option C 3 methyl pentane, option D hexane. So in this question we have to tell the isomer of C6H14 which will give maximum number of monochloroderivative. So let us start with the options which are given here. First option is 2 3 dimethyl butane. Right, so the structure of 2,3-dimethylbutane is CH3CH, CH3, then CH, CH3 and CH3. So, when it will be treated with chlorine in presence of sunlight, so what happens, there will be substitution of the hydrogen by chlorine and we get a monochlorodervative. Now, if you see in this molecule, this CH3 group and this CH3 group are similar and this CH3, this CH3 group are similar. In fact, all these four carbon atoms are similar, right? And these two carbon, these two CH, CH are similar. So, there are possible two products. When hydrogen, can, uh, hydrogen from these carbon atom can be substituted by chlorine one possible product is that and if uh, if the hydrogen from these carbon atom can be substituted by chlorine then we get the second product so one possible product is ch3 ch ch3 ch ch3 and here ch2 cl other possible product will be ch3 ch CH3, C, Cl and CH3, CH3. So, these are the two possible products because in this molecule we have two types of uh, different carbon. So, here we get two monochlorodervatives. Here we get two monochlorodervatives. Now, we will check the other options in second option we are given 2 methyl pentane so 2 methyl pentane is ch3 ch ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 now if you look this molecule this ch3 and this ch3 these are similar so when hydrogen will be substituted from any one of these two carbon then we get the same monochlorodervative. So we can write one to these carbon atom. One product will be obtained from here. Then this is second carbon atom which is different. Then this is third carbon atom different. This is fourth different carbon and this is fifth different carbon. So there are five different carbon atoms. So here we get five monochlorodervatives. Right. Now we'll see the next option 3-methylpentane. So, 3 methyl pentane will be CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, CH2, CH3. Now, if you see this carbon and this carbon is same. So, we will give the number 1 to these two carbon atoms. This carbon and this carbon is same. 2, 2. This is different. This is 3 and this is also different 4. So, here 4 possibilities are there. So, we get here 4 monochlorodervatives. Then in 4th option we are given hexane. CH3, CH2, 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 CH2 and here CH3. This is hexane. Now, you can see that this carbon and this carbon is same then this carbon and this carbon is same and this carbon and this carbon is same so from here we can get maximum 3 monochlorodervatives so highest number of monochlorodervatives will be obtained in option b here we are getting 5 monochlorodervatives in 3 methylpentane we are getting 4 monochlorodervatives and in option d hexane we are getting 3 monochlorodervatives 
सो मैक्सिमम मोनोक्लोरो डेरिवेटिव इज ऑप्टेन इन टू मिथाइल पेंटेन सो ऑप्शन बी इज द आंसर ऑप्शन बी विल बी दी आंसर हियर थैंक यू फॉर क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जी एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आफ्टर डे